Hey everybody, today we're going to be reviewing the Coleman Shovel and Pick Folder and 3D Live Target Groundhog. Let's check it out. Here's the shovel, real nice. So it's got a pick feature. Here you go, your shovel, and then here's pick. And you can just go straight up spear mode with this. Uh, I think that would be good if you're trying to, you know, dig a hole and you just can't get it out whacking it with a shovel. Yeah. Here, just a little pickaxe. Real nice. And uh, although it does look small, there is another part you can screw in to make it a bit longer. Takes a bit to screw in, so a bit time consuming, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Hello, there is this little mechanism here where it can pinch your fingers real hard. Hurts a bit. And you gotta keep it like that while you're screwing in the lock. Because then you can keep it like this. Now you got a fully functioning pickaxe. Uh, relatively quickly. Let's go test it out. I decided that I'm gonna set up a hole for the groundhog over in, a, in my range. It's a uh, pretty basic, but I got some new targets. Let's go see how this works. Yeah, you can dig with that. I like how soft this dirt is. Real nice. Real easy. No opportunities to use this pick though, sadly. Oh. Yeah, that pick just goes right through dirt. No matter how hard it is. Woo doggy. You're going right clean through it. Look at that. Is that a worm? Nah, that's just a piece of bark. Yeah. Here we got some tough dirt. Yeah. You can just destroy that. Alright. Well, that's pretty good. Real nice hole, really quickly. Now let's just shove that groundhog in there. And then we're gonna shoot it. Alright. We're just gonna shove them in here. Put all this back in. Put the shovel into, you know, shovel mode. It's real nice, honestly. Real good like this. I, uh, I think I might prefer it that way. If I didn't have such tough dirt down there, then I think I'd just stick it with, the, stick it like that. Now this guy, he accidentally stopped recording for a second. Don't like that. <laughs> but yeah, he is in there. Look at that. Can't shoot it right now. Likely going to turn into a part two. But I got some more targets. Going to take them out here. Set everything up. I will be back. Alright. Back at the range. Got two more targets. Got two more. Gonna set those up in a bit. Uh, off camera though. Uh, part two. I'll be using all this stuff, by the way. Uh, here we got a little pack. Uh, let's stick it right here. Oh, they're really gonna stick it in here, but... I think right there is better. Now, let's see. Oh, 
Yeah. And that's the bird. And now we gotta find some place to put you. It's the yellow jacket. Got another one of these. I also got a bleeding target, which is pretty good. <laughs> pretty cool. But yeah, here's my range for now. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna put the bleeding target up against that taller hay bale. One hanging out. Not vertically. Other one. Not vertically. Other kind of uh, degrees. I got no idea. I'm bad at math. Uh, yeah. Here it is. Pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the groundhog. Sticking up out of the ground like he wants to get shot around the eye. There's the bird. There's the deer for, you know, guns and BBs. <laughs> it has seen some days. Yeah, it is. It's pretty old. Then there's the yellow jacket. Pretty simple. Well, see you guys in part two. Have a good time. And, uh, use your weapons responsibly, please.